we got to feed you first. And there's one thing that you have to have in this town. I'm, I'm on the 10 Philadelphia food groups. And we're taking you to a really special spot when it comes to that close to the St. Joe's campus. Let's do it. I'm getting hungry. Steak places in the world that are specifically endorsed and loved as the one cheesesteak place that's their favorite. This was Kobe Bryant's favorite, Larry's Steaks. Fans wherever you can. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Dave is trying to convert our little man to the Dayton Flyers. He likes it. That's the best look. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. Look keep him work here in Philly. <laughs> President number 46 and 47 right there, maybe. 55 and 56. You know, chicken honey. tenders. Honey mustard. I'll run up and get ketchup eventually. <laughs> First and bottom. Right. Let me get it. Looks pretty good. I might, I changed my mind. I might take those. It's going to be cheesesteak. Hey, unrolling. Good enough for Kobe, good enough for me. Excellent. Dead out. This just looks insane and you can see the steam rising. First one. The big bite was a little bit of a lean over technique and the excess. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. We typically find that the chicken tenders at these places are not as good as the signature food themselves, like these cheese steaks, but they do the job. And for this kid, it certainly does. Yeah. It may be a while before he gets into cheese steaks. We'll work on him a little bit. Outstanding as I talk on two cameras. <laughs> I think you can slam the basketball now after eating a Kobe special. On a seven foot hoop. <laughs> Sticky ketchup packet. Uh oh. That's not Ruh -ruh. good. These cheese sticks are the combination of the American, really well melted, with the onions and mayonnaise, exactly as Kobe Bryant would eat them. That's a great way to do cheese sticks. We were talking in the car about just the fact that, like, your favorite type of national chains, like the Culver's that you miss so much. Yeah. You don't find them that much in places like this on the East Coast because there are so many great ma and pa homegrown spots like this. Philadelphia is replete with them. The food here is so amazing. It would be hard for them to break into this market because the food that they create that's homegrown is so awesome. More detailed review after having a few of these. Oh, have one. Most of one. Still pretty hot, but good. Balance between... Uh, crisp and chicken itself yeah awesome awesome nothing special about it but not bad at all it is hard to pick the best cheesesteak in a city where there are so many different cheesesteaks so many different styles i think i learned why people love this with the kelly bride style because the creaminess of the cheese and the mayo and the meltiness from the steak itself creates this savory goo ooze that just goes all throughout your mouth when, when you eat this thing it is just a fantastic combination. Kobe knew what he was doing with this specific type of cheesesteak. Almost done. Look at that dripping goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kobe knows his steaks. You don't know what you're missing. Very good. I recommend this to anybody. Kobe special. I don't even know all that was on him. 
Yep. What's it? Mayo, American onion, cheese. American onion. cheese. While our man Dave is finishing off his final Kobe cheesesteak, let's get your numeric review. It was a good tender, and I probably put it at about 81, but there's a big chunk of fat there. I might deduct it to like a 75. Again, these aren't the kind of places that specialize in chicken, so it's not going to be as strong necessarily. For kids who don't like cheesesteak, they can enjoy chicken. We adults enjoy the real good stuff. Final review on the cheesesteak, what would you rank it out of 100? Oh, numbers. I put it high, that's 80s, 90s. It's a Saturday, so you don't necessarily have to think as much with math. I would definitely put it, I'd say 88 out of 100. Yeah, I'm, I'm right in that range so too. So good, so good. Get, get out here and try one of these, they're, they're awesome. And sit in Kobe's corner here. Of course, our journey isn't over without going into a place named Barry. Yep. It doesn't look like he's going to be having chicken tenders on this uh, journey. This is, this is not going to be chicken and carrots. Yeah, I'm not getting chicken this tenders. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? <laughs> I already did, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it. First time we've been in sort of a diner setting, I don't know, I don't know how long. Well, was it Alessandro's? Might have been Alessandro's back in 2018, but just in general. Like, I think it had like George Webb back in Milwaukee after that. But oh, I, I do. I wasn't yeah. there. This is awesome. The fact they have their own soda brands here. Their own soda style. Oh, sarsaparilla. I have not had that in forever. Maybe I should. Maybe. Getting it from both sides now. <laughs> and it's hot. That's almost like a cheese curd. It's reasonably shaped close. It's like. Except not cheddar. <laughs> it's like if a cheese curd had Shaquille O'Neal's jeans. <laughs> And yes, I'm getting my veggies, broccoli bites. <laughs> Dave, a toast to Catholic college basketball. Habemus Ludum, we got game. Rub it up, Dub. Thanks to the grub. Yeah, God. Bless you. Especially after a little classic. Play. Broccoli bites are extremely close to cheese curds in terms of the gooiness and in terms of the taste. They are outstanding. I'm good veggies. He's making me eat a veggie. <laughs> the only way I'll eat them deep fried. This tastes like basically fried broccoli cheese soup. It is that wow. That is good. Cheesy goodness right there. You can see the steam coming off it. The flavor palette here is incredible. You have the sharpness of the Asiago. The other two cheeses are really mild and smooth. They mix fantastically. They melt really well. And this bread, so soft and it holds together. 
so amazing. Kids getting filled, but with the sticks, we're gonna be taking that home. I'll probably down the veggies. <laughs> That'll be all right. We're also gonna do this and dip this thing in a little bit of what they call gravy here in Philadelphia, which my wife would disown me if I actually call it that. It's sauce, but it's probably gonna be good. That makes it taste like my mom's pasta meatballs. I'm going home with this. It's so awesome. Barry's wins in the bread category out of any cheesesteak I have had so far in Philly. Seriously, it is just out of this world bread. I love the combination of the cheese. Steak, really good quality. This one beat the Kobe Bryant today. This gets a 90. 90 out of 100. Unfortunately, you chose not to have the chicken tenders at this particular locale. That was shocking. Very, very. But you already I had already, some today. I already had some. Exactly. So it's all right. It's all right. As you Good see, fun. my bald spot. <laughs> Man, the shine off that thing. It increases what it's really good cheesesteak, and this was, you loved it. That was awesome. That is, you don't get cheesesteak like that date. No way. Some no way, way. I think. Seriously, best bread I've had on any cheesesteak here in Philadelphia so far. Outstanding. I think Barry's beats Larry's. Oh, Barry as good as Larry's was. Yes. Barry's beats Larry's. Next up, what should people do to catch both what the great toll road and we sorzy stories are doing? Like, subscribe, hit that bell, ding, ding, ding. Check out all the socials on both our channels. For the toll road, for little buddy, I am Daddy. So long from Barry's in Philadelphia. Yeah.